Learning Objectives Today we will learn how to measure volume using different tools and how to measure the volume of various vessels. And we will also be learning about the leader. Hello my friends, how are you? Today we will talk about measuring volume. Are you ready? Great, let's begin. Look at these two vessels. I wonder, which one can hold more water? Do you know how to find that out? Think hard. Hmm, did you notice, my friends, that it is difficult to determine which vessel can hold more water? That is why we need to measure the volume of each vessel. But how? Let's see. We will fill each vessel with water using this cup. Let's begin with the first vessel. One, two, three, four, five. Notice the vessel is now full. This means that the vessel can hold five cups of water. So, we can say that the volume of this vessel is equal to five cups. And now, let us find the volume of the second vessel. One, Two, three. Look, my friends, the second vessel holds three cups of water. This means that the volume of the second vessel is equal to three cups. Notice, my friends, that the vessels differ in their volumes. The first vessel can hold up to five cups of water, and the second vessel can hold up to three cups of water. This means that the first vessel can hold more water than the second vessel. Did you notice, my friends, that in order to determine the volume of the vessel, we used a cup of water? This means that a cup is one of the tools for measuring volume. And now, my friends, would you like to measure the volume of this mug? Hmm, but we can't use a water cup. It is bigger than the mug. So, we need a measuring tool that is ideal for measuring the volume of this mug. And so we will use a spoon. And that is by finding the number of spoons that can fill this mug with water. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. 
So, this mug can hold seven spoons of water. We can say that the volume of this mug is equal to seven spoons. So, the spoon is also another tool for measuring volume. Good job! And now, my friends, look at this empty bottle of water. Do you notice something? Great! Written on it is one liter. But what does that mean? The liter is considered a unit for measuring volume. But, my friends, how much does a liter equal? To find the answer, we need to find the volume of this bottle using a water cup, as we have done before. One, two, three, four. Notice, my friends, that the bottle can hold up to four cups of water, which means that the one liter is equal to four cups. And we find, my friends, that the liter is used to describe volume. So we see that the volume of the soda bottle is 0 0.5 liters, and the volume of the juice bottle is 2 liters, and the volume of this water bottle is 1 liter. And by this, my friends, we have learned how to measure volume using different tools, like a spoon and cup, and that vessels differ in their volume. We also learned how to measure the volumes of different vessels, and that the liter is used to measure volume. And finally, one liter is equal to four cups. <laughs>